Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to make my contribution towards this uh, bill. Mr. Speaker, on the face of it, I support... S Senator Nyamu, I have not changed my uh, sex yet. Oh. Sorry, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I want to support this bill on the onset and on the face of it because I support the concept. I support the concept of marginalized areas being given extra funds to tunnel development to them. I also support because it alleviates the burden of the already strained county uh, budget. I also like the fact that it is project specific and it is also area specific. But Mr. S Ma Madam Speaker, I also have an issue with the formula, just like my other colleagues have said before. And Nairobi has been assumed to be a rich county. Just because we have a f rich estates like Karen, Muthaiga, we ignore the slum dwellers of Nairobi. Article 204 of the Constitution that creates this bill is very clear that it is, this bill and these funds are supposed to benefit the marginalized areas. Madam Speaker, in Nairobi, we have a lot of marginalized area and de that are also densely populated. Nairobi is the home of big slums like Kibera, Madare, Korokocho, and the Kayabas. And I'm sure, Madam Speaker, you have never heard of a slum called Silanga, etc. The deplorable state of, that these citizens, Kenyan citizens, are living in have continued to be ignored by policy makers and also legislators in this and the other houses, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I, I happen to be privileged to have served at the board of Nairobi Water and Silver Company for three years before I became a senator. And in, that, in Nairobi Water, we had mapped Nairobi into seven regions. We have the central region, which includes the CBD and its environs. We have the southern region. And Madam Speaker, we saw it wise and necessary to have another region, a separate region that is called the, that it included all the slums that was called the, uh, I, f I forget the name, but it, the slums and all those regions were under a, a region regardless of the location and the geographical area. And Madam Speaker, how we dealt with the slums was not the same way we dealt with other regions. In terms of billing, in terms of water supply, because they are more, popu they are, they are more populated and they, they are less privileged. So Madam Speaker, I want this house and I want the policymakers, the CRAs, to deal with these regions and to recognize them as marginalized, because they are marginalized, Madam Speaker. We are talking about Korokocho, Soweto, Beviwandani, the Riruta, and all these other areas, Madam Speaker, that have been ignored. Just because they neighbor Karen, or they neighbor uh, Muthaiga, and other rich estates, does not mean they should be ignored. Madam Speaker, they are not children of a lesser God. And Madam Speaker, we have been crying as Nairobi for these um, slum dwellers. And we have been ignored over the years. And we are going to resort even to unorthodox uh, means. Madam Speaker, as the women of Nairobi and the women of Lainisaba and uh, Kiboro and Mujiwa Huruma, we are going to undress in this town, Madam Speaker, so that we can get the attention of the policy makers and, the, and this house and, and the legislators, Madam Speaker. Because Nairobi is not a rich county, Madam Speaker. We are not a rich county. Just because we house, we are the seat of government and we are, we, we happen to have uh, rich estates here and there, does not mean that we are rich, Madam Speaker. And enough of this talk. We are going to find solutions for ourselves. Just like uh, Governor, or Vinya Deti said that Kambas have their own ways of solving things. Nairobi, we are going to find a way of solving this well, means and having our slum dwellers recognized by the highest office. 
and this house. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Senator Wambua. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, for this opportunity uh, to also add my voice to 